today on Discoveries Indonesia. We travel to Karimanjawa for a taste of island life. Come and join us as we learn how to fish, meet a local family and relax on our very own private island. This is Island Life on Karimanjawa. Karimanjawa is a fishing town. The only way to get there is to travel by boat from Semarang. I didn't know anything about Karimanjawa or where it is. I felt that it would be really good to get an insight into how these people lived. Hi, my name's Jo. Nice to meet you. The fisherman that I met, Karesi, he originally was from the mainland and then one day while fishing, his boat started sinking and he ended up washing ashore. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> I was actually quite intrigued as to how he was operating the boat. Turns out that he was just using a foot to operate his steering and then a finger to turn the ignition on, which I thought was absolutely amazing. Kind of feels like we're in Jurassic Park or something. It just seems really otherworldly. Once we found the right spot, we dropped anchor. And Krasi gave me a crash course on how to fish like a real islander. While we waited for a bite, Karasi told me about some of the issues local fishermen face today. <laughs> So these fishermen that go out at night, they're just thinking short term, they're not really thinking long term and, and how this could affect everyone on the island. With a little help from Karasi, I actually managed to catch something. Oh my god! <laughs> so we came back from fishing and Lutvia had prepared like a really big meal for us. Oh wow, oh my god, that's so much food. And we were just taking it back. We're trying to get the kids of this family to join us. They're really cute but uh, they seem to be afraid of our cameraman, Jack. He's uh, really big and scary. <laughs> Two people came through. Hello. Then three people. Then four people. And then all of a sudden, you had their entire extended family coming through, sitting down and joining us for lunch. The mum, she was really kind. She felt that I wasn't eating enough. So she was just like asking me to pile more food onto my plate. And at this point, I'd already eaten as much as I could. And she was just like pointing to her stomach going, you need to be as big as me. Otherwise you haven't really eaten. <laughs> Sitting down with them and just getting together with their daughters and chatting to them and getting to know them as people. It was just, it was lovely. Bye, thank you so much. <laughs> We ended up seeing this tornado on the horizon and these big black rain clouds forming above us. When we finally got to the island, we turned back and we looked at our boat and where we'd anchored and a tiny little rainbow had just appeared. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> I think I want to start crying. That just looks so perfect. We just thought that that was a blessing for making it all the way across. My experience of Indonesia has been very unique because I got to see a side of it that isn't just Bali. Bali is great, but if you really want to get away from that party environment and really explore more of Indonesia, Karimanjawa is a fantastic place to go. There's just a lot less of that partying vibe and it's more about giving back to the local community. <laughs> 